Welcome back to IK Dodontics, the channel where we all learn together. Today we're going to be discussing about an upright 1 and upright 2 case. This is the pre op x ray, as you can see. We got a big radiolucency underneath both teeth uh, connected to that uh, previous treatment. Now, uh, the previous retinal treatment is suboptimal. I can see a bit of DK underneath uh, this area over here, maybe underneath these fillings and we can definitely improve this okay so first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be removing the previous fillings we want to get rid of whatever that might cause problems in this case i'm removing this i'm scouting for dk cleaning the dk i'm going to be working both teeth together although i don't usually do this i'm trying to go one tooth at a time there's no need to hurry okay you want to be spending as much time as you can on each tooth trying to avoid any mistakes now in this case i did do a mistake on the upper right one which i'm going to be showing you showing you later so stay tuned so what i'm going to be doing i removed the big chunks of gp with my slow speed and now i'm just scouting the canals with my pro taper gold f2 what i want to see is whether uh we got really compact, dense uh, obturation that is going to be hard to get uh, to working length or whether it's just that single cone um, sort of everything comes out together uh, more easy working of retreatment. I'm using ultrasonics here just to help me um, loosen up a good aperture. I'm using my F3. What I want to do is I want to go around the um, Good perker. I want to try and unbind it from the walls so it comes out in one piece. I'm doing the same thing on the upright too, just brushing, brushing around the GP. Uh, and you can see a big chunk came out. I'm helping the upper right one with a uh, bar brooch, I'm trying to get as much of that GP out as possible. Now, ideally, I want to get it all out in one piece. When this happens, I'm really, really happy, but in this case, it's stuck to the walls. So what I do is I take my axe locator, connect it to my um, rotary, and I wanna go to length. So I do this just so I can keep using my rotary ones because trying to get length in a retreatment with your K file sometimes is not easy, it's not possible because it's not able to get um, by the GP. So, I'm doing this, my rotary doesn't have an inbuilt apex locator, so this is what I've been doing. Um, so I'm trying to get to length, trying to be careful not to um, prepare outside the apical constriction, over prepare that area. So I'm getting my length here, just like that. Everything is going smoothly. I'm brushing, brushing, trying to get all as much of that GP out. And then I'm doing the same thing on the upright too. The upright too, like I said, the GP a bit more condensed, more hard for me to get down. Later on, I'll be switching to a retreatment file from uh, the Pro Taper Gold sequence. So I'm trying to get down. I don't push it. I just let it bind. And then take it out, let it bite a little bit of the GP off, take it out again and again and again. Okay, just like that. Now that movement that I did up and down, it just clears uh, a bit of the debris off the file. Just so I don't have to wipe it very often. As often, not very often. So a lot of hypochlorite. Okay, this is a retreatment case. Hypochlorite is very, very important here. Yeah. A lot of bacteria. I'm going with an F2 on the upper right one that we have already established the working length. I want to get that to the working length. Okay, very, very slowly. Okay. I don't put any pressure, just let it bind just guide itself down and then just pull it back up you don't want to be forcing anything because you, uh, you'll see what happens when you force things just a little bit uh, later on 
Okay. So what I'm doing now is I'm just pointing the um, the tip of the of the file to the walls, and then I'm just sliding it down. So whatever I found GP, I just want to go behind it, unstack it from the walls, just make it come out, and then I just go right next to that and I repeat the same process. I'm just trying to get all the GP that is stuck on the walls unstuck. A lot of hypochloride. Okay, we'll go with my F3 now, all the way to the working length, just like that. And then I do the same process on the upright too. I have my apex locator, just, just as a security thing. So I'm trying to get two length, but as you can see, it's like hitting a brick wall. So I get my retreatment files. And this will allow that compact GP area to just we'll just go we'll just bypass that and then you'll see now that once I go with my F1 I'm able to get length. Can you see how easily it just slides through that GP now? And then I'm confirming my working length and then taking again my F1 all the way to our working length. Quick tip, make sure you get a good Apex Locator. Apex Locator is, is one of the most important things in root canal treatment because it shows you exactly where you need to prepare your canal. Now the x-ray is good to confirm that, but it will never be able to tell you exactly where to fix your root canal treatment. Using just an x-ray to estimate your working length, in most cases, you're gonna be over preparing a canal because in most cases the radiographic apex to the apical constriction when you're going to be finishing your root canal treatment they don't match and sometimes it can be up to three millimeters the difference so make sure you get a good uh, apex locator that you trust and just go with it okay so i'm using my f3 now just to get length and i'm brushing 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 just trying to get as much of that gp out like we said, GP harbors bacteria, it can ruin your root canal treatment. So you don't want it in there. Okay. A lot of hypochlorite. Use as much as you can. As much as you can. Because this is the main goal of a root canal. Try and eliminate as many bacteria as you can and then inoculate the rest. Good x-rays will get you a lot of likes, but if you're not cleaned long enough and if you're not killed as many bacteria as you can, a root canal will come back to you, okay? With the same radiolucency as you left it. So what I'm done, what I'm doing here is I, I did a big mistake. So I was about to finish and then I'm trying to brush the walls and I overburning the instrument and that instrument just snapped. Okay. Trick here is not to panic. Just take a moment to evaluate, see what's going on. Now, there is this thing where it has this small loop that you can tight the instrument around that like you can put it around the instrument then you can tight it and then you can just pull it out I didn't have that with me so everything became more difficult but I'm gonna be using different techniques that I want to show you where you can use even if you don't have that uh, to get that instrument out so I'm using ultrasonics now I'm going anti-clockwise pro taper um, gold instruments bind clockwise so you want to and buy them from the canal so you're going to go in the opposite direction so i'm going anti-clockwise um i did get them a little bit unbind you, you want to get them loose okay you just want to make sure you're never going to get them sometimes they just pop out but this is a big um this is a lot of uh it's a long part of the file that snapped so it's never going to come out you just need something to pull it out and since I didn't have that uh, loop instrument with me, 
I'm just trying to get it loose and then I'm going to be using a technique that is called threading technique. So all I'm going to be doing is trying to get some files around that um, that file, that broken, uh, broken file and then I'm going to be twisting them onto themselves trying to get that instrument binded with them in the process and then I'm just going to be pulling them out and hopefully the instrument will come out which is the case it did. Now it did take me about three to four attempts to do that uh, but I'm going to be showing you in the last one just so I don't bore you. So I want to get one in the back uh, at the rear side of the instrument and I'm going to get one on the side and then one in the front just so when you're binding them you get that good tight grip onto the instrument okay sometimes it's not easy to do that which in this case but as you can see I did it so yeah just be smart with these things um, yeah be smart and buy the correct equipment and carry it with you so you don't have to go through that especially in uh, simple fractures like this and also try avoid over, over bending your instrument and then fracturing which will help you save a lot of time because that took me around I want to say 15 to 20 more minutes which is never and it's never fun okay so I'm just gonna go for my confit now I'm checking for tag back you want to make sure that you have a good tag back because when you're doing your uh, continuous wave compaction you don't want to be uh, it'll be causing any problems because of uh, bad tag back which can be over extrusion of, uh, of the sealer or GP or when you using your heat plug it to just um, cut the GP uh, and then do the warm uh, compaction that using the warm uh, GP the whole thing was gonna come out if you don't have a good tag back um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna show you I'm gonna tell you when and what I mean. So I'm just drawing the canals, I'm taking a little bit of that sealer with a um, paper point. I'm coating the walls. Doing this again on the upper other one, just like that. I want to make sure that I got a good amount of sealer on the walls, and then using my GP with a little bit of sealer at the end. My upright one, upright two. I'm gonna cut the excess out like so compact the rest making sure it's uh, in place but like I said if you get a good tack pack you got nothing to worry about okay. All right, just making sure so yeah in this step if you don't have a good tack pack the whole thing is gonna come out in one piece and then you just gonna have to put another GP cone in so it's a lot of hassle for yeah just make sure you got a good tag back on your GP so make sure you compact well put that warm GP in again very very good compaction this is where uh, the x-ray magic happens this is where sealer and GP goes onto the laterals sealing um, all this nice anatomy so make sure you compact well enough. Okay. I'm cleaning with uh, some um, alcohol here, some so, uh, yeah, and then ultrasonics, and this is the final X-ray. Everything looks really, really good. I like what I see. Um, yeah, so the patient is gonna go back to the dentist for the final fillings. Hopefully, crowns on these teeth just to protect them. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this case. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comment section below. I'm happy to answer any questions. Remember, we all learn together in this channel, so there's no reason then to be embarrassed or there are no uh, bad questions. Okay, it's, yeah. And don't forget, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, so we keep on going.